Right guys, we're going to cut in some uh, more ash today. I'm going to dig some out of the one field. So I thought I'd uh, take you for a ride now and uh, well, I'll show you what we do over there. And some of the setup I take with me. This is pretty much every day what I take. Obviously, we've got the tractor there. I've got pulleys, the wire cable, two pulleys, various Ds, all different Ds on you. I take a pole saw every time, I don't have to use. I won't ever try to do any cutting without the pole saw for the small branches. I only take one saw at the moment, a 372 is pretty much new. I did have a, a 262 XP, an older one, my backup saw is to take in case I got this jammed, got him stuck. If I get it stuck, I'll tell you a tip, I always take extra bar and chain, a 15 inch bar there. If I got it totally jammed, obviously I wouldn't leave a 600 pound, 700 pound saw if it, and, and I couldn't get it out. If I got it jammed and I couldn't get it out, I wouldn't leave this saw because of the, the price of it. The best way is just undo the bar. Undo it, take the, take the bar off, leave the bar there. You can always buy a new bar and chain if you had to come from the job with any, without anyone there. Try to get it all out, yeah, but if you couldn't, don't ever leave the chain so obviously. But just to undo the bar off. So what I do, if I got jammed, I take the bar off, put my small bar on, leave this bar in there, and then try to get it back out. But that'll be a last resort. I got an axe, yeah? And I got big... I got all my, my wedges for there. I got steel wedges, two steel wedges, and various plastic ones. Bit of rope there. There's just a few things in here. There's my hat. I got my mount on the top. Some squashes. Um, it's a must. First aid kit. Won't go anywhere without this. Don't hopefully touch wood. Any wood? I won't need it. But, and I got all big stuff in here. There's big, big bandages. I have got bigger stuff. I should put the bigger stuff together. There's a goodie bag, yeah. With all gloves in. My grab there, that's gone there. I take two cans, in case there's two of us. So one of them always got a bit of petrol with them, because we could be working in different places. Files, got one of each file, I only run on a 3.8 or a 3.8 Pico at the moment. I don't bother with a 3.25. And a scrunch, make sure you get a scrunch to take the bar off or just a... And I got my other file, the other bits are in the other side. That's why I like these cans so much. Um, I will get a bigger saw, and I have to get a bigger one. Like I need a 30 inch bar, plus really, the 36. So as I either ask on a 390, I don't think it might be big enough, or 395, or even a 3120. Just go full out and get one of them in the future. Uh, that's it, we get over there now. I'll have to go cutting some of this up now. It's going to be quite awkward, it says look at the size of it. It's not as size, that limb there. And all the weights on this corner, I mind as well. <coughs> so, gotta watch and get the saw trapped. We'll have a look now. I cut another slither off. Don't want it wide, like nine inch. That's the length of the logs. And uh, we'll see when this we side slice down here onto the limb there. <coughs> I could cut a chunk out of that. I have to wedge it so it don't shut up onto it. Or cut from underneath out of it. Can you imagine all the weight. Because he's just well over here. Cut a bit now and have a look.
a fair old thickness that is. Yeah, it's a fair old thickness. I think we'll have to cut one of these limbs off there. And uh, to get in better. Is it going to be awkward or? into there now without getting jammed. Um, better come underneath. Oh, the old thing could roll, I know. It's all the weight. Come down in there once more. All the way down. What we have to do is go through again and let's go all the way down into this limb, into this bit of a limb there. And the same the other side. Oh, we miss the other side, this side. Let me see what happens then. You can see the depth of it. Look. And it's only getting bigger and bigger. They're going back. So if it work, yeah. Take your time and let it cut. Don't try to force it though. It's too much for it, like. Edge now. Come on. Put a yellow wedge in because the pressure's on the bottom. There's my other one too. Get it out of my Oh, so I've got everything with gloves on. It's hard work. We got another one as well then.
this chunk by here, this limb is towing me out. The bar's not long enough. We're going to have to cut the section out here to get into it. I've got to cut this side. It's not really going to roll this way. I'd say it's going to roll that way. But we'll have to get the wedges back out. Or one of them at least. Into here. Oh, 